Hello, David Zritsky for the Bond Experience. Welcome back. I am here with my new friend, Gavin Perrette. Gavin, nice. welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Welcome to the collection. What do you think? Love it. It's absolutely amazing. We, we, we're going to get more penfold in here, but other than that, it's incredible. Boy, you know, I love the segue <laughs> because <laughs> we are talking about penfold today. <laughs> yeah. could, you, could you let my audience know your association with penfold? Yeah, so I am the CEO of Penfold Golf, um, and uh, I took over the brand in 2019. Um, and we we wanted to, you know, reestablish the brand, bring it back to its glory days as such. And we're, we're sort of moving along slowly to that right now, you know. That is the most simplified version of what you've done. <laughs> I am a fan. I, I, you. I, you know, Gavin and I have been talking for some time. We've been pen pals. First day we've met together, and we're practically neighbors. Yes. We're about an yeah, hour from right. each other. Yeah. Yep, easy drive up, up the route, whatever. I don't know my routes in America. But, but, I just know it's one way, that the, way. The leaves are changing, but <laughs> did, listen, you can hear his accent. He's not from Brooklyn. We've got a British gentleman here in Pennsylvania. Englishman in not quite New York. That's right. That's right. What, first of all, let's, let's start back with you as a human. What brought you here to the States? Yeah, so um, before my time with Penfold, um, and it's going to, you know, you'd be scratching your head how I ended up with Penfold, but um, I, I was a squash professional, um, turned professional when I was 17, 18, very young, um, did all that stuff, uh, you know, got into um, coaching. But I moved to Calgary in Canada in uh, 2010 mm. um, to take up a, a coaching role over there. Uh, and kept kept on playing like what we call sort of the North American kind of t tour, um, and then I got offered a position at Philadelphia Country Club. Oh, nice! Um, in 2012, and so I took that, and I, it was a great opportunity for me to to move to the states and and do what I dreamt of doing my entire life was to to be able to live and play, and really that's what I did squash for was to be able to travel and play, and it created a great opportunity for me. And yeah, so then that was that and came towards the, the closing end of, of my sort of career as such. And uh -huh. I felt like I needed to do something different. So I went back to my business studies days where I, I studied business and um, my mum's in fashion. And I just felt like uh, it, was a, it was a great fit. So why Penfold? I mean, there's a lot of different, I, I always talk about these moments as refounder moments where you have this well-established brand, but they sort of, they go a little bit dark. Yep. So why yeah. why did you target them? Well, I mean it's a it's a classic storied British heritage brand. Yeah, you know sure. it's from 1927, and as we discussed just recent just previously here, um, I'm a fan of vintage sort of products in general, um, and I felt like Penfold had been let down. Mm -hmm. um, and when you've got a brand like Penfold that was established nearly a hundred years ago, right, uh, from a founder that had a massive influence in the game that's been forgotten. There's a great story there. Um, and actually, one of the main reasons that it appealed even more was the the connection to 007 as well. Mm -hmm. Obviously, mm -hmm. being a Bond fan, um, that helped. I knew that Bond used the Penfold Heart golf ball. And that actually is what brought me to um, the attention of the brand more and felt like that, that there was something there. Right. And I was like, this could be pretty, pretty cool. It's, it's interesting, too, because I've, I've read your history of how you connected to the brand. And many of us probably wax poetic at home thinking like, I wonder how somebody even connects to a brand. You literally just rang up, yeah. didn't you? <laughs> yeah. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, I, I was a little bit cheeky. I say <laughs> this, you know, I was a bit cheeky with it. I think sometimes that maybe is the way that you got to get somewhere, right? You just got to go straight to the point. Yeah. And um, I, I emailed uh, the current owner of the brand and I said to him, what's going on? You know, it seems like it's gone wayward. I would have thought with a brand that has so much history and story, there would be more going on. Yeah. And that was how the conversation started, yeah. And he said, yeah. over to you. Yeah, along those lines, we actually we created a relationship. We had a brilliant relationship from the off, um, and, and Paul is his name, and uh, we chatted, and we actually were looking for people to take on the brand rather than me, myself. Oh. And as it just going, I was telling them about the ideas that I had and how I thought, you know, yeah. we dug up all this history with players like Seve Ballesteros, Gary Player, Cernic Faldo, all had been sponsored and used Penfold. And there's amazing stories on that where 
you know, Seve won his first ever professional event with a Penfold Ace golf ball. Uh, Sir Nick Faldo won his first professional event with a Penfold GX100 golf ball. Mm. There's all these crazy things going on and it had never been utilized and nobody seemed to know it. And then he was literally like, well, why don't you do it? Yeah. <laughs> you know, and I was like, I could. <laughs> and you did this, I mean, it must be said, you did this during a pandemic. And yeah. I have to tell you, if um, we're going to put a link down below. If you take a look at the website, which I'm sure you, you breathed new life into, I know it. It's very storytelling. I yeah. don't feel like Love I'm it. doing an e-commerce shopping catalog. Yep. I feel like I'm being immersed into stories. And depending if I'm sports related or 007 related, I can pick my own journey yeah. in the website itself. I, and I'm really glad that, that you, you see it that way because that's exactly how I want the vision of the brand. Mm. It's not about um, making a hundred million sales. You know yeah. what I mean? It, it, I want the users to be able to come and experience what I feel personally yeah. for the brand. Um, when they use that, the, the brand, I want them to feel like they're using something that they can say, I'm using a Penfold Heart or oh. Even like I'm using a Penfold Ace and there's so much history behind this ball and I want people to feel that. Yeah. Um, and actually when we send out product uh, to like pro shops that we sell to, for example, we have this a note that's like type written on a typewriter and it, tell, it says you've literally bought product with a story that you can tell your members oh. and you're supporting not just the past of a, a beautiful brand, yeah. but the future of the brand too this, this is the purpose this is catnip to my audience because one of the things that the core of my channel is to talk about bond lifestyle moments and it's not just about mm -hmm. the physical deliverable of a product it's about That's the right. story behind it you know when we talk about a nice watch like you and i mm -hmm. have been talking about the history of it capturing that product makes you feel like you're part of the story itself, that's even in exactly. a small way. That's precisely what we're looking for, is, is making you feel like you are part of that story, you understand the story, and it's not just uh, a product that you put on and it, it gives you, um, you know, this prestige. Yeah. Um, the purpose is, is that you can actually feel like you understand where that's come from. And the work that's been put into delivering that product, yeah. it's a lot, and obviously a lot of people don't understand that, um, from a consumer point because they're not in it. Right. Um, and the more you can tell that story of how you've had to source it, why did you source that particular style? Why did you go with that particular you know, concept? Um, and everything that we've done to this point, there's a story behind it. Speaking of stories, mm. it's a Bond channel. Yes. We've, we've got to delve into the world of Bond. And if you go, <laughs> again, if you go to the website, you see that it's there in droves. But Less people think this is a matter of you going, right, factory, start printing out things with 007. <laughs> Can you tell us a little bit behind the scenes? I know you'll probably have to keep it high level, but how does one go about even raising their hand and saying, can we do something official? Well, that's a very <laughs> difficult one because I don't even know the answer to that. <laughs> um, you know, luckily for us, um, the, 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 the franchise reached out to us, uh, you know, just before... Um, just just at the early early of 2021 i believe it oh, was cool. early 2021 um and uh you know i already had in mind exactly what we were going to do mm. you know it was already in my head it had already been planned from day one from when i took the brand that i knew that we had to get this this uh this collaboration uh because it was a very important story of the brand very important part of the brand and not only uh for the brand point of view um, we're talking about one of the most historic golf scenes in the history of movie franchises, you know, or f film in general. Yeah. Um, everybody knows the Goldfinger golf scene. Absolutely. You know, it's just massive. And it's another fantastic story to sort of put out there. And yeah, I already had in mind exactly what product we were going to do. And I've, I've actually done, I'll just show some quick images up here, um, we'll put some links as well. I've done some of the reviews of some of the Penfold releases. What I loved about that is, and, and we're very much into the unboxing aspect and the, you know, what is it like? What's the experience of actually unboxing something? I love that there was so much care from the tissue paper to the items involved and thinking about it from a Bond fan's standpoint. And the reason I just dramatically paused on each of those is I want people to see the enthusiasm and passion on Gavin because at the heart of this, you are a Bond fan doing this. I am, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I've always been a Bond fan. I mean, I grew up watching Bond movies, um, you know, 
always around Christmas in, in the UK, there would be a whole stream of Bond movies on all the time. Of course, you're off, off school and there's nothing else to do during the day. I'm pretty sure a lot of kids, and I was one of those kids out kicking a football against a, you know, a soccer ball, out against the football, out against, against the wall, yeah. you know. But if there was a Bond movie on, I was in the living room watching the Bond movie. You, you know guys I mean? had the sport before us. You can call it a football. Yeah. It's a football. <laughs> it's a football. I know he's sitting here in Pennsylvania. He's, he's trying to be polite. But... I'm trying to correct myself. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, so you, you've got this relationship. Obviously, the, the folks, the powers that be of Bond, um, obviously want the partnership as much as you. How do you then go about choosing what is going to be created? For, for the product? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, obviously the golf ball is the core of it, right? I mean, we yeah. know it's the Penfold Heart golf ball. Um, and then we came to this lockup where, you know, when you do have brands that do collaborations, it's always um, uh, someone X someone. Right. You know, and or, you know, dash someone, or wherever, however they lock it up. Um, we had the heart, and that's how we created the Penfold Heart 007 mm. lockup. And it's brilliant. It just is yeah. really cool. You know, it looks great. Um, and that kind of really pushed us towards that sort of gave us a, a little bit of uh, creative uh, with it. Yeah. And then, of course, we know Bond's love of um, uh, casino card games, etc. So then that kind of played into mm -hmm. it as well. And the towel we did originally, we wanted to make it look like a playing card. It does. Yeah. Um, and I think we did some playing card props as well with that right. were li literally playing cards with the, the 007 Penfold Heart lock up on the back. Um, and so that's kind of what we ended up going down that road, right. you know, obviously his love for casino games and, and then obviously the, the heart, the Penfold Heart. and Sort of intertwined it all together. And I assume that Fleming's idea with the Penfold Heart, there's actually an interesting story there, hmm. but um, he obviously loved to go to the casino, play card games. So I assume he picked the Penfold Hearts because of that connection. Um, but Ian Fleming grew up playing golf, as right. we know, and he was a member of Royal St. George's. I think he might have been a member of Huntingdon, Huntingdon, hmm. Huntingdon? I can't I don't know what it's called uh, off the top of my head. But um, played a lot of golf. Yeah. Uh, and he actually uh, learned from Sir Henry Cotton, who's a three-time British Open champion. Oh, wow. And at the time, Sir Henry Cotton was on staff for Penfold. He was one of our main staffers for Penfold. Sir Henry Cotton, one of the most successful British golfers of all time. Right. And so he was learning from Sir Henry Cotton, and Henry Cotton would have been using Penfold oh. golf balls, and that's how, I assume, they came into the hands of Ian Fleming. That's as good a theory as any. Yeah, I, I mean, mean no, I, I can only imagine history. that's that's how it came about. Yeah, oh, unbelievable. yeah, and that was probably before the time we have an image of him in a in a clinic with Sir Henry Cotton. Right, uh, and I believe it was about nineteen sixty one. So literally just before he had started, oh my gosh, you know all this stuff. Yeah. It's very interesting. So all right, you you have these products. You've got you're steeped in storytelling and mm. history. Absolutely get all that. I noticed <laughs> when I released the video and shortly thereafter, and it wasn't the video, it was it was what you had created, many of the things started selling out. So as mm. things sell out, you obviously want to refresh, you want to have new things. Right. We have some things here today yeah. to show yeah. off. Can you talk about them? Yeah, absolutely. Well, as as you know, we, we, we brought out the, the 60th anniversary stuff. So we wanted to make sure that we had some product earlier in the year. And of course, the classic, you know, supply chain issues. It, it came out a little later than what we would have liked it to. I apologize. But, you know, we, we, we got them here and we got the beautiful bag. And we really wanted to do a nice bag for, for the 60th anniversary, which we have. And yeah. um, the idea behind the bag was, of course, um, we used the vintage logos, mm -hmm. um, the brown leather. Uh, is sort of a, a, a nod towards like the the chairs, the classic leather chairs you ah, see in yes. in the um, M's, right? You know, uh, room, you know, and all that kind of stuff. Even to like Daniel Craig's leather chair in yeah, was it Skyfall or was it? Uh, uh, is it is it in his apartment? Oh, he's in. Yeah, you do see it in Skyfall. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. right. So even things like that. So oh little gosh. little nods here and there. I think the bag, by the way, because you do love vintage. Mm. Um, when I first saw it, I mean, obviously the color schemes of the brown and you know the black twill and everything on mm. there, 
they go together so well, but it looks like it's been taken out of the 1960s. Yes. Yeah, it doesn't look like this highly modernized ballistic type bag. Correct, it looks yeah. like your grandfather may have bequeathed it to you. Well, the canvas uh, does that for you. It gives mm. you that sort of a classic, you know, I mean, you can look at materials, waxed cotton, waxed canvas. It yeah. always looks, has that nice beaten up kind of vibe to it once you've used it a few times and then it gives it that nostalgic feel. Um, and then, of course, the leather wears beautifully as well. Right. So once the leather wears in, I mean, this bag looks like you've had it since the 40s <sighs> um, and it's beautiful. Um, but it, luckily, <laughs> It doesn't act like it's from the 40s. It's, <laughs> it's, it's very good condition. Sturdy people is what he's saying. <laughs> so, you know, yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a beautiful piece and we we're really happy with it. Um, and then, of course, we had to create new product for our Penfold Heart 007 lockup. Mm. Official collaboration um, now coming out as we're sort of trying to get over the line with that. Yeah, so you've got, so I know what's been very popular amongst the Bond community has been obviously the bag, the hat, yeah. and then you've got this great bag, which we'll show you some B-roll right now on that. Um, it, it's sort of like a utility bag that golfers would kind of put on and put tees and balls on there, but that's right. you can use it for anything, right? Anything, yeah, and that's the purpose of the pouch, yeah, precisely. We, we, we want to create product that not just golfers are going to use, you can use it, you know, with Penfold, the whole idea of Penfold in general is that you can use all of our products on and off the course, uh, obviously bar golf tees, right. you know, or golf balls, but yeah, yeah. Um, hey, who knows? You can find a way to use those off the course too, but um, pick your teeth with a golf tee, Absolutely. right? Absolutely, you know? yeah. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, I mean, the pouch, you know, I personally use the pouches uh, for travel. Uh, I put, you know, we just traveled to the UK recently. Yep. I had electronics in there. I had, you know, the the, the, the blind up yep. fold thing for, for, to get some sleep in the plane. A, a, so, someone, um, a good friend of mine who's a huge fan of your products, got the bag and they said that they can use it as a flat dop kit. Yes. You know, because the toiletry bags are often very thick and bulky. Yep. But if you're just yep. doing a weekend trip, you need something flat. Absolutely. Said it's perfect. You know, when you go into like the uh, the uh, CVSs or something, and you yeah. go into the where they have the little versions of everything. You know, you can grab some toothpaste, some, size. some mouthwash, you know, a, a toothbrush, and it yeah. fits in there beautifully. So what he loves about it is when he goes into a hotel, there's always a hook. You've got the little thing for the hook. Yeah, You've got precisely. your dapkin. Yeah. It's not getting wet and everything. Yeah. So, I mean, it's it's a cue bag. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, and look, I mean, there's there's other things that we're, we're looking into, you know. We, we do have coming out uh, for... Uh, next year we have backpacks and, and shoe bags, obviously not 007 oh, wow. related, but there's no reason why we may not be able to go down that road at some point and, and have some nice, beautifully branded 007 backpacks and Amazing. stuff like that. And that's kind of stuff that we'll continue to look forward for, you right. know, and, and keep sort of, you know, trying to push the creative side of the yeah. product. Yeah. Now, because Gavin is the CEO of the company, he can do certain things as the CEO, like bring exclusive material. That's right. So <laughs> talk to us about what you brought here. Yeah, so um, we, we have some, obviously, we, we, we know there's the delay on, on the golf balls, and we, so we apologize for that. The main reason is being, you know, again, supply chain issues, delays in, they're literally on the boat. Uh, so we're hoping to have them out released before the end of November, maybe beginning of December. But at the same time, we'll also be releasing some new products that we have um, at the same time as the, when the ball arrives. And I brought today with me the towel and the ball marker that is going to be new. Um, the golf tees are remaining the same, but we have a new golf, new new ball marker and a new golf towel um, for that collection. Love it. I love to. Again, we're getting some close-up shots of this. I love the fact that you're able to pair this with this iconic images. Yeah. So, you know, I had asked Gavin earlier today, I'm like, you know, what's the percentage of people that buy the things to use as golfers and buy the things for collectability? And what I love it is you really don't have to choose. No. You know, with these type of you know, sort of images and everything, mm -hmm. you can probably do both. Yeah, I mean, it's really nice with the ball marker. We, we, we purposefully put them in these packs and of course we have the the lock up on the back again mm. um and it's just a nice iconic piece uh, and we make sure that we get nice thick high quality postcards that people can yeah if they're a huge fan of this particular moment of the movie you can you can put that in a picture frame you can put it up on on your side yeah. you know i have some of these up up my uh, in my house uh, with my with my drinks cabinet and stuff 
Um, and of course, the ball marker, yeah, you, you use the ball marker for golf, but I mean, maybe there's other things you can find use for it. Who yeah. knows? <laughs> it might make a, way, a good paperweight. It's quite heavy, you know. There's it's, so many it's different half things. Decent, yeah. It's so funny. Uh, we can actually have people down below in the comments section say, you know, how would you utilize this? Yeah, that would be fantastic. We'll, yeah. we'll get a list and we'll send it to yeah, Gavin. Yeah, that's but right. You've got something else. Now, there's who doesn't like a black box that literally says 007 on it? And then yeah. you've got the pen fold gorgeousness on here but what am i holding so so this box has been exclusively made um for uncrate uh who you guys may and a lot of your fans probably do know um they're huge fans of the bond stuff as well and what we've done is we've created a retail 007 product so a select product of like uh we got a golf towel ball marker again the usual the usual suspects some golf tees but it's more branded towards 007. Mm. And so it's a 007 by Penfold retail range. And you'll start seeing these retail products go out into stores, maybe even your local pro shops or Ooh. places like that. Uh, we wanted to keep it to separate the retail side yeah. from our Penfold Heart 007 product, which you can get exclusively on our website and the 007 store. Mm -hmm. So Uncrate came to us and they would wanted some 007 retail product. And uh, what they wanted to do was create um, a box kit. So um, we made these um, boxes and I know they're with Uncrate right now being unpacked. I'm not too sure when the release date is, but I'm sure we'll hear soon enough. But yeah, he wanted to put it all together as one package and I can show you here. So yeah, uh, of course, beautiful tissue. you know, um, everything just comes together nicely. It's a nice little piece. And what they have is that with these boxes, there'll be a sleeve of the original Penfold heart, which is not the, um, the 007 heart. It's just the original Penfold heart um, that they're putting in with the box. So, so for those who love authenticity, this would look like exactly bang on. Yeah, precisely. Oh. Yeah, yeah, that's right. And um, then this is going to have the... Yeah, and it has the, 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 the ball marker with a new... We have a new postcard, so again, you can collect the postcards. You've got different postcards you can collect. Love it. It's got golf tees and a golf towel with just the 007 logo. Um, and it's be becoming quite popular. You know, we, we have distributors in Japan that want to take on the 007 retail product for for uh, retail stores in Japan. And, um, you know, we've got, we had, we had plenty of people asking about, about it for sure. Um, so this you'll so see exciting. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. You've already given us so much. You've given us the history, the story, your history, your story, and obviously <clears throat> some sneak peeks. Mm. What's the dream for the future? What does the future look like? We've got so much going on. <laughs> it's exciting, actually. It's, it's, it's great. It's I mean, great. We, this, is, this is fun because it gives us a lot of creativity with the, with the, the product. And, um, you know, we, we, of course, have next year, which that we'll continue the relationship with 007 and, and we'll, we'll create similar kind of product for next year and um but again it'll be slightly different change it up slightly uh the golf balls will be available uh, year round hopefully yeah. this time you know bar any problems in the sea um and then really what we're really excited for is is 2024 which is Ooh. a massive year oh um, of course it would be yeah oh my gosh yeah that has that's conjuring up all types of thoughts of what could happen that year <laughs> yeah i'm so, sure there'll be celebrations around the world yeah it's gonna be fantastic of course it's the 60th anniversary of the goldfinger movie yeah. um and then obviously our relationship with that movie um and the product that we are gonna be bringing out is is very very cool it's gonna be very exciting um and i can't wait to to get it out there yeah uh, and you know hopefully some some cool events that you and I have discussed uh, briefly, but you know, can't say much more on that. There, there are but... two people with uh, poison blow darts <laughs> just off camera. Literally. And, and they're serious. <laughs> they're serious. So that, that's a wonderful thing. I'm a little bit tease. worried about that, that piece you got over yeah, there. That one right there yeah. with the suit on. Yeah, I don't yeah. like him at all. <laughs> uh, but this is great. And by the way, so one thing I will volunteer, because um, I think I know Gavin well enough. It does us, the Bond fans, the Bond community, good to know that it is in a fan's hands. I mean, yes, you know, you're a business person, you're doing this brand for a reason, this is your occupation, but at the end of the day, you're doing this also because your passion is driving it. Yeah. So we're just looking forward to the future. 
I mean, you know, I love the Bond fans. They're very loyal to the brand. I mean, you know, you get you guys have, have you know bought so much product from us, and and of course, you know, yeah, we're in business. But as I, as we discussed, you know, for me, being able to create these moments and the stories and be able to tell these things. I mean, not for the life of me. Ten years ago, you know, coaching squash, playing squash, would I have thought that I'd be doing this? And um, that's only possible from from the fans and when they buy the product and they support the brand. Um, which is amazing. Um, and to, to say that I started this brand with $500 oh my gosh. Uh, in 2019 to, to, to where we are now today and the things that are happening with the brand in the next you know six months is yeah. uh, it's unbelievable. But I don't have a, a minute to stop and think about it. It's go, go, go. And we just, we just carry on and, and hopefully create more and more stories and moments for the fans. I love it. Well, thank you for spending some time with Absolutely. us today and obviously doing this. And we will keep our eye on you and obviously Penfold. So, Gavin, yeah, thank brilliant. you so much. Thanks for having me. Of course. Appreciate it. We're going to play here a little bit more in the basement, but we're going to letting you go, of course. This has been David Zeritsky for The Bond Experience. We'll see you all real soon. Take care. Thanks for watching this episode. If you want to be up on the latest from the Bond Experience, just click on this subscribe and subscribe to our channel. You're going to get all the latest and greatest information plus some exclusive content. And by the way, speaking of content, here's something especially for you just because we know you. Talk to you soon.